What's good with it? It's your boy Mr. Mixer and I'm back with another how-to video in Adobe Audition. Alright, today we are going to be focusing on mastering. Alright, so you got your mix right, you got everything sounding real good. Now you want to bring it to life with a master so you can send it off and so you can get it for radio and all those good things. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, before we get into this video, I'm going to need you to like this video or dislike this video. Let your boy know what's up. Throw something in the comments. If you got any suggestions, let me know. I'm growing as I go. Yeah, yeah, I need that algorithm to grow with me too, so let's get it. Mr. Mixer made it work! Alright y'all, let's get into it. Alright, so say you have your song ready, everything, this is the same song we've been working on, so I'm going to play it real quick. Alright, so this is our audio uh, just for our mix, okay? So what we want to do is we're using stock plugins, we want to go to special let me go here so you can see because I'm on my second screen. All right, so we want to go to our master mix, okay? All right, um, so some people say don't do this on the session. I do, uh, so this is my way. So what we want to do is go to special. Let's go to mastering, all right? Okay, so we are here. All right, now we want to start with one of the presets to get the juices flowing all right so let's actually get right what we can hear a little bit let's see we start okay let me turn that off we started at the bottom now we at the top i always had a fear of the fame it's not okay so as you hear it really already brings it out just on default all right so what what i like to play with is called um sub substool sub subtle clarity <laughs> Every time I look at that word, I do that. Okay, so, um, yes, let's start here, and let's see what it sounds like. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's nonstop. Okay, so, in mastering, what one thing you want to work on is the loudness, okay? So, and one thing I want to start with is at the top of the chain, we have a reverb. I want to turn reverb off, okay? All right. Um... I'm not sure what this one is built for, but I always do some extra tweaking to it, but I like this preset, so let's get started. We started at the bottom, now we at the top, I always had a fear of the fame. Okay, the, the exciter, it feels good. Um, if you wanna add like a more analog feel to it, like a tape feel. We started at the bottom, now we at the top, I always I like that. had a fear okay. of the fame, it's nonstop, and we do. Okay, as you hear the dip. And we grind nonstop. at the bottom. Now we at the top. I always have. Okay, now on that widener, it adds a little widening. It's not much because everything is already stereo. So I would crank that up. It's not going to hurt it. I love widening my tracks. It just makes it feel so much bigger. So, yeah. All right. Next step is our loudness maximizer. Now, that's going to bring our. Um, decibels up to make it louder okay so let's try that first we started at the bottom now we at the top I always had a fear of the fame is non-stop and we do okay all right so let's see where we at we started at the bottom okay let me turn my headphones down okay we started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's nonstop. And we ooh, and we ooh, and we cry nonstop. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I okay, right now I'm gonna leave it at negative one. Okay, the next thing I do is right here you have an equalizer. Equalizer, okay? Now, this is set to boost this high end. I like that and I don't like it. Um, when you're mastering with the rack effect mastering with Adobe, you more like have to use your ears, okay? So um, I do not like the boost on that part. So what I do is I come here. This is that frequency here. 
put that on zero. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always yeah. had a fear of the fame, it's nonstop. And we mm. Okay, if anything, I would probably just bring my highs down a tad, just a tad, okay? We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's nonstop. And we mm. Started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's non stop. Okay, all right, mastering also will let you know, um, it will make you hear some artifacts that maybe you missed or something. So it's good to do it in the session, I believe, because you can always go back and you can tweak on it while the master is on and you can toggle, toggle it off and on like this. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's non stop. And we mm. So, as you see, it is very much uh, mastered. Um, it's not all the way mastered, so I'm gonna do one more thing. Let's see. Uh, we started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's non stop. And we mm. And we mm. And we grind non stop. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's non stop. And we mmm. And we mmm. And we grind non stop. Nice. And we grind non stop. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's non stop. And we mmm. Cool, cool. And we mmm. And we grind non-stop. Okay, so let's push that on up to negative 0 0.1. And we let's grind non-stop. We started at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's non-stop. And we mmm. Okay. And we mmm. And we grind non-stop. All right, we are sounding pretty good, man. And we grind at the bottom, now we at the top. I always had a fear of the fame, it's non stop. And we mmm. And we mmm. And we grind non stop. Okay. Alright, so this is how you master your tracks when you get your vocals ready um, to uh, just sounding good, you know, in the mix. And you're ready to master it down. This is one tool you can use. I'm not saying this is the only tool. Um, if you had a, a mix that wasn't so so great, but you just had to master it, you might have to use more tools to get it to sound better. But I love using this mastering tool from Adobe. I don't use it all the time. My alternate uh, mastering VST is Ozone 8 Elements. I use that, but I want to focus in on the Adobe stock plugins only and they can get the job done just as good um so yeah i'm out this thing it's your boy mr mixer make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button yeah yeah let's get it and we grind non-stop at the bottom now we at the top i 